Now, the album's called Wise Up, and I think that has a specific meaning, especially it refers to where you are in your life right now, I guess. Yes, it, it, it does have a very big meaning for me. I, I've had four terrible years, as most of people know now, and uh, it was horrific. I, 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 my, my best quote is I can say that I would never wish that on my worst enemy. Yeah. It was tumultuous, horrific, emotionally draining, that were traumatic. I'm going to interrupt for a minute, because just in case people aren't aware of what we're talking about, this was, there was an accusation made against you. This was in 2014, I think. And then yes. the police visited your house uh, to investigate this, but the BBC had been leaked that information, and they filmed it uh, from above. They made it a major news story. Uh, where were you when you knew they were doing that? Were you away? Did, you, did someone call you? or? Yeah, you... yeah, I was in Portugal, in my house in Portugal, and uh, my sister and a couple of friends were going north of us to a, a, a vineyard. A friend, the friend of mine runs the vineyard. He said, come on up and have lunch. So it, we were leaving at 10. At 5 to 10, my phone rang, and it was the management from my apartment block saying, the police are here, uh, and they're outside your door, and they want us to let them in. And I said, well, if they have a warrant, you can't stop them. You have to let them in. And anyway, the door is really good, and I didn't want them to break it down. <laughs> so they, they, that's... And I saw all that later, of course. I saw the helicopters. They had helicopters, that. and they really made, a, a, obviously, a big news story out of it. It and was very intrusive, and it's, it's hard to explain to people what it feels like. I only went back to that apartment once to collect my clothes. It was... Uh, it, it felt... It was worse than being burgled, because this was the police force. We trust the police, and you don't expect... I mean, they're only doing their job, I know, but, but in the end, it was just heartbreaking for me that anybody would even think it possible for that accusation to be true. Mm. Because obviously the police, and I know you would agree with this, would have to investigate. Of course they of would. Of course they One would, would yeah, want them absolutely. to. But it was the fact that the story was leaked to the BBC and then they made it... And it felt like you were being judged guilty in advance. Almost. I can I mean, understand someone saying, well, we didn't know whether he was guilty or not. And if you don't know, you shouldn't say anything. Yeah. If you knew I was guilty, then of course say something. What was the lowest moment for you during that? When was the moment where you really thought, okay, this, this, might, this might destroy me? Having gone up to see my winemaker friend, we decided to stay for four days. We stayed overnight and we came back. And that night, I was in the kitchen of my house. The press were on three different gateways. And I, that was the lowest moment of my life. I have to say, it does sound dramatic. And if they do make a movie, I'll tell them what happened. I suddenly found that I couldn't stand up and I, f I fell onto the floor and I was weeping. And it, again, the first thought was that I was in this hole and I didn't, how was I going to get out of this? Somebody, anybody could say anything about anybody and you never know until it's passed in court whether they're guilty or not. So that was the lowest moment. And fortunately, I had a couple of friends staying with me and one of them walked into the kitchen and said, what's the matter? And he got me up and said, look, you didn't do this. You can get through this. But that, that moment there is what I'll remember as being wow. the lowest part. But here's the weird thing, because they came out... Eventually, they said, we're sorry... The BBC said, we're sorry that Cliff suffered distress. But they're still kind of pushing back, because you had to go to court, didn't you? And, they, and they, fought, they, they stood by the decision, I think, about the way they'd reported the investigation, which I found remarkable, because it, it just seemed to me like it was way out of the bounds of what was acceptable. It's funny, Jonathan, because really, right at the beginning, I only asked for an apology. We needn't have gone through all this money yeah. that we've all... Both of us groups spent if they had just apologised, but they were not going to apologise. It was the, the upper echelon who had made very bad decisions and now they realise they have made very bad decisions and destroyed me for a couple of years. Yeah. But, you see, I, what, what's good that's come out of it? I know now that there was, that was never going to break me down and that's what Rise Up is about. Well, you're never going to break me down, you're never going to take me down, you yeah. know I'm going to rise up stronger. And I do feel stronger because that's of amazing. That's amazing. That's amazing. That's amazing. Thank you. 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 Thank you.